Hello students, I am Kashif Ibrahim and we are running a series of uh, A's level computer science assembly language lessons. Uh, these lessons uh, are being made especially for A's level computer science students but it can be used by anyone who wants to understand uh, assembly language uh, from basic to intermediate level. So let's start our lesson, today's lesson. Today is the lesson number two and we are going to discuss two pass assembler as given in your book. What is assembler? An assembler uh, is a, some, uh, assembly language translator which is used to uh, translate assembly language uh, mnemonics, assembly language commands into machine code. So we are going to discuss the process uh, which is uh, taken place when uh, the translator uh, tries to translate mnemonics into machine codes. So we will see it in uh, a little detail, step by step. So the type of assembler we are going to discuss, that is two-pass assembler. Uh, and let's see what happens in it. Actually, uh, the process is taken place in two passes. First, we will see the first pass what happens when the program is given to the translator to be converted into machine codes first of all uh, first pass is taken place and in this pass first it reads the assembly language program line by line and it ignores uh, any of the comments which is written in the assembly language program any uh, program which is written in any programming language might have uh, different different types of instructions and the instructions which are related with comments or remarks uh, that is not for the machine actually that is for the programmer himself or the for the person whoever will see the program so that is not useful for the machine that is why it is ignored then it allocates memory addresses for every line it has read then it looks up for the opcode means it sees that the opcode which has been used in the assembly language whether it is the right opcode or not it sees it in lookup table lookup table means the table of the instructions of the assembly language so it checks the opcode whether it exists or not and if it is not existing obviously error will be generated then it add any new label to the symbol table. What is a symbol table? Symbol table is simply a table we are going to see after this slide in which all the symbols and all the labels are kept. What is a label? A label is just a replacement of the memory address where uh, a value can be stored or where the control of the program can be transferred. So wherever the label is found that is kept in the symbol table then it place address of the label instruction in the symbol table so wherever the label is found that address is also written in the symbol table we are going to say it then this is how first pass is uh, executed then in second pass it reads the assembly language program line by line again then it generates object code object code means machine codes including opcode and operand you know that machine language instruction is divided into two parts opcode and operand opcode is the action and operand is the data or it might be address on which action to be performed 
and it takes it from the symbol table if there is from pass one and this is how object codes are generated then the program is saved or executed let's see the example of a program and symbol table how it is done you can see this is a simple simple program in which four mnemonics have been used and with these uh, mnemonics two labels also have been used so what are those labels first label is being used to transfer control at a memory location where the ldd command is written and the second label is being used to give output so what is happening let's try to understand this program first command or first mnemonic is load direct where direct addressing has been used means the value from location from memory address 200 will be loaded in the accumulator then the loaded value which has been loaded from location number 200 will be compared with zero because the next instruction is cmp zero so the accumulator value will be compared with zero and if it is equal to if it is equal to then it will go to not found label but if it is not equal to then it will jump on found label so if the value is not equal to it will jump on found and the value of the accumulator will be outputted so this is a simple program which i have described to you so here two symbols or two labels have been used first one is not found and second one is found we are supposing that the program is starting from memory address 100 so that is why not found has been inserted in the symbol table and the address of the not found from where the program is starting has been written that is 100 after this you can see there are three instructions between the found and not found labels so after 100 we have 101 location where cmp instruction has been written 102 location where jpn instruction has been written 103 location where jp instruction has been written and on 104 found label has been written so because this is label that's why it also has been inserted into symbol table and address of this label has been written so this is how symbol tables are made and our program is translated into object code thank you very much allah hafiz inshallah in next class we will see the next topic